And patrolling for parties on Halloween, the special team tasked with enforcing medical guidelines this weekend in Tempe. And that is where we begin tonight at 10 o'clock. Thanks for being here. I'm Brandon Lee. And I'm Yetta Gibson. Tempe police already issuing twice as many citations in just the last week for large parties near ASU's campus. They say with Halloween this weekend, they're going to be cracking down even more. Our Brianna Whitney is live tonight over on Mill Avenue with the new rules in place, Brianna. Yeah, Brandon, it's no secret Mill Avenue is known for its crowds, parties and large gatherings of college kids. Then you throw Halloween on a Saturday this year on top of it and police are expecting even more people to go out. But with COVID cases on the rise again here in Arizona, Tempe police have already started to crack down. People in Tempe are expecting Halloween night to be lively around ASU. This weekend will be crazy, I'm sure. I mean, I've definitely heard there's going to be some decent, big, you know, get-togethers and such. But Tempe PD says not so fast. Just last weekend, they issued 10 party citations, five of which were ASU student-related. The weekend before, only five party citations, two that were ASU-related. Aaron Anguish lives near Mill Ave and isn't surprised by the crackdown. I've definitely seen some, like, gatherings in apartments and, you know, dorms that don't seem socially distanced. Zan Paulson agrees with Hollow Weekend Day away. Even though he plans to have a small get together with friends, the police preps are needed. I want to make sure everyone else is safe with it, but people are going to do what they want to do in the end of the day. So I definitely think having a little extra enforcement going on when it comes to bigger get togethers might might be for the best of everyone else. And in the name of having the right tools to put safety first this year, Zan is extra committed. What are you dressing up as? I'm looking at a, I'm either going to be a priest or a sexy Bob the Builder. Sexy Bob the Builder? You've never heard of that. I know Bob the Builder. Oh, it's, it's just a, it's a spin off of Bob the Builder, you know? Sexy Bob the Builder, that is a new one. That is a good one. Uh, but Tempe PD will also have designated party patrol officers this year. Basically, those officers will go out to party calls and take enforcement if needed. They'll also have extra officers out here on Mill Avenue on bikes to make sure COVID compliance is being enforced at bars and restaurants as well. Reporting live in Tempe tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family. Brianna, thank you.